Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the cobblestone stitch. So let's get started. To begin, you're going to want to make a slip knot and then chain an even number of chains. Okay, so I have an even number of chains and now I need to chain one more to act as that turning chain. So to begin row one, in that second chain from your hook, you're going to want to work one single crochet. And you're gonna to wanna to work one single crochet in every chain across. So I just reached the end of row one. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. And in that first stitch, I'm gonna to want to work one treble crochet. Okay. And then in that second stitch, work one single crochet and if you flip over your work you can see that the triple crochet it creates uh, like a little mini bobble so now I'll turn back around and in that next stitch work one triple crochet and then the next stitch one single crochet so this is really all it is. You're gonna continue altering between one triple crochet and one single crochet until you've reached the end of the row. and work one single crochet in that last stitch. So now chain one and you're going to turn your work and this would this will be the right side of the work because it has all of these fun little bobbles. So now you're going to want to work one single crochet in every stitch. So I've reached the end of row three. So now chain one and turn. And this time we're going to work one single crochet into that first stitch and then one triple crochet into the second stitch. And again, we're going to want to continue altering between one single crochet and one triple crochet until we've reached the end of the row. So I just worked one triple crochet into the last stitch and as you can see because there isn't another stitch to work a single crochet into it's just sort of there on the end so what I like to do is then work one slip stitch into that same stitch and I won't count this slip stitch as a stitch it's just there to create the bobble at the end so now to work the next row 
instead of working into that slip stitch, you're going to work into the stitch where the um, triple crochet is. Okay, and this is what it should look like after row five, and you're going to want to continue repeating rows two through five until you've reached your desired length. I just finished several more rows of the cobblestone stitch, and as you can see, it creates this really fun, bobbly texture that I'm completely obsessed with. This is one of my absolute favorite stitch combinations and I have made several patterns using this stitch so I will make sure to link those below and if you found this video helpful please like this video and subscribe for more crochet content and tutorials.